This is Tanks Vlog, August 8, 2017, wrapping up the day in sports. Today, the Mets began a brief two-game interleague series against the Texas Rangers, a team equally as disappointing as they are. You know, it's around this time you really get to hit home that this season's now officially meaningless. Mets are playing out the string. I mean, what's the point at this point? I mean, Chris Flexen, he got his first win today, but he still doesn't look quite ready to be a major leaguer. I mean, he did make the jump from Binghamton, but I still want to see him possibly in Las Vegas next year. I, If Chris Flexen's starting on his team next year, you know the Mets are not going to go anywhere. I mean, I think the, the earliest he could be a key contributor is probably 2019. He's just not ready. That's all there is to it. I um, mean, he got yeah, very good, good that he got the win today. Uh, Mets got homers for from Michael Conforto and Jonas Cespedes and Travis Darno. But it's one of those games where it's like, yeah, they won, but what's the point? They're 50 and 60. It just doesn't, it just so, so, such a downer. Such a downer that it, the Mets are just done on August 8th. It really is. Meanwhile, the Yankees, their bats are in a coma. They have hit a sleep shift. Uh, Aaron Judge is in an awful slump. He had another two strikeouts today. His batting average now dipped below 300. And uh, he's struck out in 25 straight games. And that's 42 strikeouts in that streak. So uh, looks like pitchers have figured him out. So it's now a battle of the adjustments. I mean, you could blame it on the uh, the home run derby, but I don't think so. I think that uh, the scouting report's now out on him, and he could chase some pe pitches, and pitchers have found that pitch he chases, and... They're not pitching to his bat anymore. So that's the big battle that happens with rookies. I mean, right now the Yankees' offense is as exciting as Richard Neer. I mean, you just think about Richard. When you think about Richard Neer, you think about what I always thought should have be his song for WFAN. Richard Neer on the fan. Sports Radio 66 and 101.9 FM. He is boring. Fans are snoring. And they're gonna need a sleep shift. He's milk toes and lukewarm. And there's nothing else to say. Richard Near. On the fan, 66 and 101.9 FM. The Yankees' loss means the Red Sox extended their lead in the American League East to four games. As Chris Sale, I mean, right now, give him to Cy Young. He's on pace for 300 strikeouts, 14 and 4. Dominant effort today, 13 strikeouts. Red Sox blanked the Tampa Bay Rays in Tampa. Two to nothing. Meanwhile, the Cleveland Indians, they got a win today. Four to one over the Rockies. And their lead is now four games as the uh, Royals lost a second straight game at home to the Cardinals. Once again, got slammed ten to three. The Astros, though, uh, they still lead the, uh, National, the American League West, but they're in a big slump right now. I mean, they got that big lead. They're 71-41, but they've lost 7 out of the last 10 games. They just not playing good baseball. Had a little banged up. Uh, I mean, they lost to the terrible White Sox. Dallas Keuchel, a second straight loss. Coming back from the disabled list. So right now, there's got to be a little concern over there about how Dallas Keuchel is pitching. In the National League... Uh, the Nationals today, they uh, lost to the Marlins. Uh, that evened up that series. The Cubs, they lost to the Giants. 
and the Dodgers lost. A rare loss, 6-3. to three. Mike Lamb with a big grand slam being the big difference in that one. Today's three stars are, in fact, Chris Sale, Corey Kluber, the Indians, and Jake Lamb. We like to give a birthday shout out today to Deion Sanders. Must be the money, must be the money, who turns 50 today. The two sports star, who was never good at baseball, but excelled one of the best cover corners of all time. Hall of Famer, 50 years old. And we look back at a rare positive moment for the early Mets. When Roger Craig ended his losing streak, he turned his number to 13, and the Mets got a walk-off grand slam from Jim Hickman. We take a full look back at Barstool Sports and at SportsEcyclopedia.com, where sports history lives. Good day.